Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to CJM. We are here after Warzone. We're talking about the pay-per-view coming after Warzone, which is going to be announced well, pretty soon tonight. Live from Chicago, Illinois, this college electric. Let's get it started. Let's go, guys. There's Bobby Roode, our new CJM champion. Looks like he's going to talk to us here tonight. I don't know what he's out here for, but here he comes. I mean, cashing in on AJ Styles back at Warzone 2. Well, you guys knew. You guys knew I had to make this company glorious again, and I did. I did it at Warzone 2 when I cashed in on AJ Styles. Unfortunately, Styles is not here tonight. He's back at home watching me with the show, running it, making it glorious again, like it used to be. And now, the next pay-per-view, there is no challenger that I have right now. Our next pay-per-view, I don't know what it is, but I am going to win it because I will still make CJM glorious. And look at this, Shane McMahon is now out here, the general manager, one of the general managers are out here to speak to Bobby Roode. Just wait a second there, Bobby. Let me tell you, the next pay-per-view, let me tell the world, the next pay-per-view is Cyber Sunday. And everybody's gonna get to vote on the match stipulations that we're having and you are going to have a rematch with the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, at Cyber Sunday. For CJM, you can say it's looking glorious. You can say we're going to have Bobby Roode versus AJ Styles in a rematch. We're going to have a soon-to-be-announced USA Championship match. Well, soon-to-be-announced tonight. Then, the United Tag Team Champions, Connor and Victor, take on... Blake and Murphy. And then we're going to have a female takeover championship match announced later on tonight. So Bobby, you can be glorious all you want. But the fact of the matter is you want to come out saying how you're so glorious. Well, let me tell you, you're going to defend that champion here tonight against one man. That man, Chris Jericho. Good luck. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, what a monumentous announcement. There are a pay-per-view and a championship match here tonight. What else is going to happen? Well, we just have to wait for the announcements later on. But let's get this show on a roll. As the first match of the night, we see here Murphy, with, oh, well, accompanied by Blake, is going to take on Connor, which is accompanied by Victor. If Murphy picks up this win... My goodness me, this week again that Murphy would pin Connor. Remember last week that Murphy pinned Connor? Might happen again, I don't know. Victor might interfere in that match, maybe Blake. As we see here, Mickey James and Tessa Blanchard versus Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. This match is going to be a really good one for the women's division here. Jack Swagger takes on Adam Cole. Jack Swagger says he represents the USA, that he should be holding that belt right now. But he has to go through Adam Cole just to get it. These two men score off tonight as EC3 is going to face one-on-one -on -one with Dean Ambrose. The returning Dean Ambrose looks to challenge the season title, a title that he never won, and finally looks to claim it here in season two. And as main announcement before this match card started being announced, Chris Jericho versus the glorious one, Bobby Roode, in a CJM title defense. Can Chris Jericho become CJM champion? Can he reign on Bobby Roode's parade here tonight? That will be after cashing in. You gotta believe Bobby Roode has to win tonight. And Murphy defeats Connor, my god. Murphy just making the ascension look weak here. I mean, not even dominant. Connor just losing to Murphy. And our tag team match, Mickey James and Tessa Blanchard. 
Oh, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce pick up the win against Mickey Davis at the Blanchard as we get to see Jack Swagger versus Adam Cole to start off the night. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And we're here to see Swagger if he can take down Adam Cole. And if he can do that, that might as well just earn him a future title shot for the USA champion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, Adam Cole has been having a good reign here in CJM. He won that title back at that Flaming Tables match where he defeated Dolph Ziggler. Oh my God, with that, with that atmosphere electric in that arena when Adam Cole defeated Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler, we haven't seen him since. All those bruises, all those injuries really take a toll on a human being. Tiger better be prepared for Adam Cole here tonight. Well, he said he embodies all that America is. He embodies to be, he wants to be, holding that belt right now that Adam Cole has around his waist. Many believe that Adam Cole will become the longest reigning CJM, well, not CJM, the longest reigning USA champion. People are also hoping, this is what I was gonna say, people are also hoping that Cole would eventually reach CJM title status. But he did challenge for the title, he lost. So this is his reward, his second best reward here tonight. CJM. Second ever champion was Suicide. Third, Shinsuke Nakamura. And then fourth, Dolph Ziggler. Fifth, Adam Cole. And the referee rings the bell as we see Swagger looking to take on Cole here tonight. Adam Cole already took him down by a swinging neck breaker. Thought he was going to do a suplex there, but apparently that wasn't the case. And Swag already hammering down on Cole. Now doing some push-ups, apparently. Getting some exercise in. And now, oh, with the boot. No big thudding clothesline from Cole. Cole now going for a submission maneuver, it looks like. I don't know what move this is. But it's effective as Swagger looks like he's in pain right now. He might as well just tap out to Cole right now. Uh-oh. I think he's in danger here tonight. He's holding that tight. What? Adam Cole already beat Swagger. What? Adam Cole just made Swagger tap. What just happened? Ladies and gentlemen. This might be the quickest match in season two history of universe mode. What just happened? Swagger just tapped out. And I can't believe that there. Adam Cole Pinkite. I'm just as shocked as everyone else is. Well, congratulations to Swagger trying to step up to Adam Cole, but nobody can step up to the USA champion. And that's that man right there. Adam Cole. But everybody, turn your attentions to the monitor there. The Titan Tron, Vince McMahon is here. Well, Adam Cole, you looks like you're having a great title run thus far. But at Cyber Sunday, this match, of course, everybody will pick a stipulation to every match. The majority rules. Let's say if two people pick a steel cage and only one person picks a false count anywhere match the majority rules the steel cage match wins that's how the rules go but Adam Cole you will have your match at Cyber Sunday it'll be 
for the USA champion, Adam Cole versus Dolph Ziggler versus Hideo Itami, the man that beat you to qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder match. And the winner of the triple threat match from far too long ago that got no title shot. We're talking about Kalisto. And that will be a fatal four-way match for the USA Championship. Adam Cole, good luck to you. Let's get back to the show. Wow, so we're going to have a fatal four-way match between Adam Cole, Hideo Itami, Dolph Ziggler, and Kalisto. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard the rules. The majority wins. Make sure you comment down below and you make your matches, you make your match stipulations down in the comments. Wow, that match was so quick. The match before that we just saw, it reminded me of that that Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles match in Warzone 2, which you guys had to see, by the way. But here is EC3. This man, unpinned, unsubmitted, EC3 has never lost a match by pinfall or submission. He is on a big roll here in CJM, pairing that reign from APW to now this company. When he was drafted, we knew that EC3 was gonna be something big. We knew that this undefeated streak, so to speak, it was gonna come into play. And so thus far, nobody has been taken down EC3. But turning Dean Ambrose looks to rain on his parade as Ambrose looks to defeat EC3 gunning both men I should say wanting a big opportunity they want it so bad that they would hurt each other they would injure each other for this match just to get a title shot in the future and that's what Ambrose did when he decided he was going to face Dolph Ziggler for the USA Champion he did a suicide dive onto the outside, injured his knee, and thus resulting in him returning at Money in the Bank as the sixth competitor to enter the Money in the Bank match. People did not expect it. They had no idea that Ambrose was going to come. And Ambrose did come indeed. An electric championship match right after this. But first, we have to check out this competition here. This match between Ethan Carter III and Dean Ambrose, the Lunatic Fringe. And here we go. Referee signals for the bell, calls it. He's going to call it right down the middle. And the running Bulldog already takes EC3 down. And now a counter by EC3. And more back and forth competition with that big shoulder tackle that Ambrose takes EC3 down with. Now picks him up. Going for a suplex. Oh, but EC3 counters into another suplex of his own. When you never know, Dean Ambrose might still feel the effects after that suicide dive. Might feel the effects still for that knee. The question still remains, can he be at 100%? And a big clothesline there tells you all, ladies and gentlemen, Ambrose is still on a roll. He's not stopping. A big chop there, more fists raining down on EC3. And now a leg sweep there. Ladies and gentlemen, our next pay-per-view as you know it now was announced by one of our general managers themselves. It is Cyber Sunday, and I'm glad to bring you this pay-per-view, guys, because this pay-per-view is all about the fans. All of Everybody is going to have a shot to vote on which match stipulation they're going to pick for their match. So whether it be for the CJM World title or the USA champion, 
or any title here in universe mode they will have a chance to pick the stipulation voting ends the 15th of january so keep voting down in the comments below and i'll see who has the most votes so let's say if uh bobby Roode's title match versus aj styles let's say three people vote no holds barred let's say if three people vote on no holds barred then it's going to be a no holds barred match i mean the majority rules if one person says extreme rules and then three people say no holds barred well i have to go with the no holds barred one i'm sorry oh big drop kick there but look he sidestepped ambrose still gonna pick up the cover there two no does not get it but of course, you know, you can throw in your own unique stipulations like an I quit match or two out of three falls. Like I said before, you can throw in many stipulations except, uh, you know, the ones that are impossible. Like, uh, what, what is it? A buried Alive match? Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. TK can't, they don't allow me to do it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to be real with you guys. Uh, anything else I can do? Flaming Tables match, three stages of hell. I can do any of that. Last man standing, any. 15th, a lunatic elbow from the top, and now sending EC3 down with the dirty deeds to end it all. Oh my God, is he gonna pin EC3? One, two, EC3 kicks out. EC3 with a slick kick out there. And now going up top. To brain up the crowd's day. To get them pictures rolling for the fans. But Ambrose with that counter. Ambrose now has them where he wants them. Ambrose with that neck breaker. Just cranking that neck. Ambrose is on a roll here tonight. As AJ Styles is not here tonight, that fan is wearing that AJ Styles shirt. And I just, you know, keep getting myself reminded that he's not here. Hold on now. Going for that forearm shot, but no. Lunatic clothesline from Dean Ambrose. Ambrose, all the strides, all the, the twists and turns that he had to do just to get to this season, just to try to qualify, try to get a title shot for the CJM champion. He hasn't had one since last year. The beginning of season one and a Dirty Deeds. Getting hit with that Dirty Deeds. Now Ambrose is now picking EC3 up. And he's tossing him to the outside. The action spills out there. I think Ambrose has a plan here. Spilling it out to the outside. Oh, right there. Just threw him into the LED display for that CJM show. Oh, now what? Dean Ambrose looking at... Oh, threw his head right into the ring post. Very risky, dangerous maneuver there. Ambrose is continuing to fight back against EC3. And now EC3, oh no, 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 no. No, what suplex to the outside. Incapacitates Dean Ambrose. And now, look at this. What are they doing? They're on the ramp now. I don't think they realize the count. They don't realize the count here. They're very close to 10. They have to be careful to get counted out. I don't think they realize it right now. They're just concerned with beating each other up, aren't they? And the match ends in a draw. What? Both men just not making it back to the ring. The count of 10 disqualified. It's a count out. Well, I don't know. We might see a rematch next week. We might not, but this match has just taken it to a draw. But we're getting some more things unfolding backstage. We see here what is going on. Well, Becky and Sasha, the only reason why I called you guys backstage was you had a phenomenal showing at Warzone 2. Okay? Even though one of you beat the other person 
to win for CJM. It was still a monumentous win. I applaud both of you women in that match to defeat APW. But, Sasha, you tapped out to Becky Lynch. Becky, you are now named the number one contender for the female takeover champion. And this match, Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch, is going to happen at Cyber Sunday. Becky, congratulations. Sasha, I look forward to this match. It's going to be an amazing night at Cyber Sunday. And good luck to you both. And there you go. They have the complete card there for you guys to vote on. You got the CJM Championship, AJ Styles versus Bobby Roode. The USA Championship, Kalisto versus Dolph Ziggler versus Hideo Itami versus Adam Cole. Then Blake and Murphy versus Connor and Victor. And then the female took over champion, Becky Lynch versus Sasha Banks. Make sure you guys vote. Voting ends January the 15th. And Chris Jericho has a big opportunity here tonight. He can be your CJM champion after the night. If he defeats Bobby Roode, the glorious one, and I have to safely assume, I don't know how Roode is going to take that. I don't know if he's going to take it wisely. You know, Roode has been kind of cocky ever since he won that champion. Ever since that promo that he cut earlier tonight. The general manager had nothing else to say but to give Jericho a number one contender, number one contender shot and a title match. And there is Jericho, the man, the veteran. It's just been picked by the general manager here of CJM. Vince and Shane McMahon had made the right call into putting one of the men that were involved in the Money in the Bank match just to have this championship match. Of course, Bray Wyatt, nowhere to be found. AJ Styles, nowhere to be found. And the other men are just doing their own thing in their own right. Jericho was the only person in the locker room that was the best fit for Bobby Roode, the veteran, versus the so-called glorious one. Breaker before Money in the Bank, we saw every man an outbreak, a burst, a fight going on in the CJM Arena. And the first person to come out and say something was Bobby Roode, and then Jericho just code breaker deliver the code breaker right down to Roode. And look how it changed, look how it progressed later on. Jericho is now the challenger. And Rude is the champion. And the fans rooting for Chris Jericho here tonight. With all those Y2J signs everywhere. 
This match is a pay-per-view tight field match as the championship is on the line. And Rude just looking into the sea of fans that he thinks that do not believe in him that he's gonna reclaim his title he's gonna successfully defend it people are just on their feet can't wait to see the match and I can't blame them and the championship match starts right now as both men Hold on, Chris Jericho went that knee to the back to Rude already. Oh, and now an elbow drop to the heart of Rude. Rude coming out with a new robe and everything, stating that this company is now glorious again. And a neck breaker takes Jericho down. Now getting that shoulder of Jericho and get, turning the attention to that, that upper body there. Jericho has to be careful. He has to look out. Make sure the glorious one does not reign supreme here tonight. And again going for that shoulder. Going for that attack. Very smart move by Rude, but I don't know how long he's going to claim on to that hold. But Jericho with a big right hand with that counter. Irish whip. And Jericho takes Rude down again. Jericho now onto the second rope. Oh, he missed and he hit the ref by accident. The referee is not conscious. He is down right now. Jericho with that mistake. Oh, Rude with that forearm shot there. Man, the referee's getting up, but Jericho has to be careful. Rude takes advantage of that. Oh, now go for that leg. Now going up to that second rope. Rude is now calling Jericho up. Now demanding that he should be on his feet. Rude, oh God, missed that. You heard the smack on the mat from that. And Rude now tossing him down. Now going for the cover. In for the pin, but wow, Jericho already kicked out of it. Jericho already hopping back to his feet. Oh, Rude with that elbow to the back of the head. Oh, and a big spear to the outside. Now the fight has been taken out to the outside as both men can be counted out there. Jericho just wants a clean match, but oh! Big chop from Jericho. And a big back body drop. Rude now working on the shoulder yet again. Can be very smart tactic by Rude. They're gonna focus on Jericho's shoulder. Jericho throwing Rude into the ring. But Rude now turning Jericho around, spine buster, turning Jericho inside out, and now looking for that glorious DDT. Here we go, glorious DDT from Bobby Rude, and that could spell the end. No, Jericho claims he's the best in the world in what he does, and he's the greatest of all time. Rude, his mission is just to make CGM glorious again. That's all he wants. Oh, big DDT. And I can't believe the unprecedented events that happened at Warzone 2, but look at this. Jericho going for the walls of Jericho. Looking to make Rude tap out. They're going to take the gloriousness off the CJM champion. No. After the match of Shinsuke versus AJ, AJ swept Shinsuke just out of the park. Just everything. 
just took him out completely, very quickly, made quick work of him. And Brock Lesnar came out, decimated Nakamura because he wants a shot at the APW World title. And because he took out, oh, Code Breaker, never mind, I was talking. But the Code Breaker hit Wu from out of nowhere. In for the cover, going to become champion, new champion, no. Rude makes sure he kicks out. So yes, CJ and Pure Wrestling won again, second year in a row. So then Brock Lesnar was frustrated. He only blamed one man. It was tied three and three. And he well, basically demolished AJ Styles. So who capitalized? Oh, big drop kick there. He missed. And now Rude tossing him to the other turnbuckle. Got another corner there. Rude. Oh, big stomps there from Rude. And a spine buster rattling the spine of Jericho. Go for that cover. But Jericho has still all the energy in the world to kick out of that one. And now going for that glorious DDT one more time. He's relentless. He wants to win this match. He wants to defend the title successfully. He wants to retain here tonight. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, still champion, the glorious one, Bobby Roode. And there was that last glorious bomb that took every breath out of Jericho. And ladies and gentlemen, if you like this episode, please leave a like, share with your friends. Remember, vote down in the description below. Comment on any match that you would like to see have a stipulation with. Any match at all, any stipulation, comment down below. Voting ends January the 15th. It is going to be glorious. It is going to be amazing at Cyber Sunday. I'll see you till then. And I'll see you for pure wrestling.